Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to our Webflow tutorial series. In this video, I will show you how to easily customize and edit the footer of your Webflow website. We will go through the step-by-step -step process of editing the text, add the links, and adjusting the layout to make your website's footer look just the way you want it to be. So, let's dive in. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, the first thing that I will need you guys to do is simply go ahead and launch your browser. Right from here, go to the URL section on your browser and then search for Webflow. So you can just Google it like that. And let me just remove this and add English so you can have the actual English version of this website. Now click on the first link and they will take you here. Simply now, all you need to do is go to this view dashboard and they will take you to the dashboard if you have an account. Let me show you how to create one real quick. So I will sign out of my account right by clicking to sign out of my account here. So here we go. And then they will take me to like the main page. This is how it looks like. I can just remove this to show you how it looks like really in depth. And here it is. So you can either get started for free or you can go check their pricing and choose a plan from their pricing plans. So let's check their plans first in case you'd like to go for one first. Here you will have four kind of plans or three main plans. There is of course the basic, CMS and the business one. So each one of these has their own features. For example, the basic has a custom domain, zero CMS items, 500 monthly form submissions and 50 gigabyte bandwidth. The CMS has 2K CMS items, 1K monthly form submissions, 200GB bandwidth, and 3 content editors. And the last one, which is the business, has 10K CMS items, 2.5K monthly form submission, 400GB bandwidth, and 10 content editors. Well, there is of course, beside those three plans, the free one, which has a webflow.io domain, so you don't really get a custom domain, which is a .com domain name and 50 CMS items, 50 form submissions and one gigabyte bandwidth. So, and in the other side, you will find the enterprise uh, plan. The enterprise plan, of course, will be much expensive than all of these. And it is very customizable as you'd like. You will get custom domain name. You will have more than 10K CMS items. It is depending on how many you ask for. A custom monthly form submission a custom bandwidth, a custom content editors, and uptime SLAs in here, of course. Now, either you want to go for one of these site plans or uh, workspace plans, uh, they are kind of different, so it is all up to you to look for them. You can see all the features in details over here, the same goes for this one. So you have to really read about them step by step, one by one, so you can decide which one to go for in case you were interested. And in general, you will find general and e-commerce. So there is so many plans, guys. Uh, it is kind of um, complicated for you to get which one to go for. So I highly recommend you guys to actually go through the features one by one in your free time and then read them all so you can get uh, which one to go for. Or you can just ask, for example, ChatGPT for the best plan for your own uh, objects. Now, let's get our free plan because we are going to go with the free version. So let's create another account using the free version. Here, you can just connect using your Gmail account or use a work email address. So I'm going with my Gmail account and I'm going to choose my email. And from here, guys, all you got to do is delete. Some, let me just delete one of these. So here we go. I am going to delete it forever. I have deleted it successfully and from here just click on new site and you will be able to create a new site here you might find four templates a blank site portfolio business and store and below you can find some paid templates here you can see them all and here some free templates with like some images into them so you can adjust them all by yourself for example, we can try this one and select it. And here you just have to choose the site name. 
So test and create sites. And as you can see, it has been created successfully. Now all you have to do is wait until it is fully loaded. So here we go, the website has been created successfully. Here you can manage how you'd like to edit this website. You can choose which device you want it to be uh, looking like. For example, how is it going to be looking in a mobile, in a rotated mobile, in a tablet, a laptop, or like, like a normal TV or PC. So let's go with this one. And let's go all the way down to the footer section, which is over here, as you can see. So the footer is the bottom of your website and there you can find all the informations that you might need about a website for example uh, the number, the email, the address, uh, the working hours and some social media links and of course if you'd like to add the menu you might find it down below as well. So how can you actually edit it? Simply just click on the footer, here we go and here you might find everything. So here, as you can see, if you hover into it, you will find the name footer instance. So let's click over here on the top right corner to start editing. Here we go, edit content, of course design control if you'd like, you are designing in another tab. So we can click this. And as you can see, I am going to hide tutorial. And simply I will click here and start editing whatever I'd like. So for example, I can change the colors of the footer itself. So now it has been changed, so it is not the normal color. Just let me just make sure to change it real quick from here. Um, here we go. I'm not selecting it correctly. So let's switch this, and from here I think we can change the color. Yep, here we go. So here we can change the color. We can make it whatever color we want. Uh, here you might find the background if there is any background color. So here we go. We can change that as well to be whatever color we want. We can make everything here from spacing, from layout, from position, typography, background, borders, and also effect adjust. So we can really change literally everything. Here we can add some transformations. So it is really up to you guys. It's it is very simple to edit and everything like quite everything is actually adjustable in this site and especially the footer it's not an exception so here we can actually add links if you'd like to add any links you can just go here and duplicate class and it will be duplicated for you we can also go here and make sure something like that copy paste with your ctrl c and ctrl v and there will be some other stuff added there you can just click into them twice for example show all settings and from here you can simply go for example to this bar and start editing it from flex styles from even like the text if you'd like give it an id here um, you can literally change everything and if you want even to change like the link itself you can just go here and from here you will find here the text so you can change the text here for example let's make it home and we want it to take us to an external URL which is a home page so we can here just leave it as a hashtag which is uh, a home page because literally when you go for example to google.com uh, here for example so Basically, this is all the things that you might see here in the URL is the things that are after the hashtag. So this is where actually they are going to take you. So if you leave the hashtag empty, it will just take us to the main page of Google. And that's what we want with Webflow itself. So home page, we're just going to leave it empty. For for example, here about you or about us, you're just going to make here external URL and make about us. And the same goes for the other things. So it is quite easy to actually make and fix. And literally you can find everything here. You can edit and add images. Uh, it is completely editable as I said guys. So yeah guys, that's how you can edit the footer in Webflow. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.